Hi, it's John. It's the 13th of January 2015. And there's the hyacinth. Can you smell it? Mmm, deep, deep breath. Mmm. Can you? Mmm. I'm sure you've smelt it before. Sort of reminiscent smell. Can you smell the hyacinth? Mmm. Yes, it's nice. Oh, and if the people on YouTube can smell the hyacinth. Hyacinth in the sunshine. Hmm. Maybe you'll be able to one day. No, but it's just the sight of it. Mm. You know, because mm. you see it, you might be able to smell it. You know, because the sight of it, it sort of brings back the smell from years ago. And of course, smells, they take you back sort of laterally. Not, uh, oh, what they should call it, um, temporarily, te not temporarily, <laughs> I mean, temporarily, don't necessarily go back in time, you just go back to oh. the place in the field, to Templar, hmm, not, not necessarily, you d it doesn't necessarily take you back chronologically, yes, that's one word, chronologically, um. Like when Dad was ill, Dad was ill. The doctor said, "We're not interested in your chronological age. We're interested in your biological age." Mm -hmm. Or did he say it the other way around? Yeah, yeah, that was the right way around. That was the right way around. So although he was eighty, he may have had the body of a fifty-year-old. Hmm. It's a lucky man. Yeah, lucky man. So. Uh, I can't think of specific things of memories of the hyacinth, but I do take it does take me back to um, different people who grew them in my past. Hmm. Certainly your auntie. Definitely my auntie. And this one was from Joey. Oh, was it? Mm. Oh, I right. another generation of hyacinth givers then. Hmm. Right, bye for now.